Hello and welcome to my review of Twilight. Oh boy, okay, before I get this review underway, I will say this. I won't complain about the changes made to the vampires, and in the sequels, I won't complain about the changes made to the werewolves as well, because pretty much everyone has complained about that. But even if I'm not going to complain about that, it's just the tip of the iceberg of the problems in not just this film, but with the sequels as well. Now, so then people know, I'm talking about the film franchise and how they stand on their own as movies, and not on how accurately they follow the books. So, with that said, it's time for me to review Twilight. So we are told the story of Bella Swan, played by Christian Stewart, who moves from Phoenix, Arizona to Forks, Washington to live with her dad, Charlie, played by Billy Burke, who is the chief of police in Forks. In school, we would later meet Edward Cullen, played by Robert Pattinson, who sits next to Belle in their biology class, and he would later want to move to a different class for an unknown reason, but he was unable to. So within the course of several days, he doesn't show up, and eventually when he does return, he becomes Belle's lab partner. Now, an old friend of Bella, Jacob Black, played by Taylor Lautner, reveals that his tribe has a treaty with the Cullen soon after the chief discovered them hunting on their land. Elsewhere, a group of evil vampires are killing off humans, and the authorities are thinking it's simply a string of animal attacks done by an unknown animal. We eventually find out that Edward is a vampire, which sooner or later, Bella and Edward start a romance for rather weird reasons, including Edward feels that she is his own personal drug. Plus, we later find out that Edward has been watching Bella sleep for months. After a brief baseball game, the evil vampires appear again, and one of them, James, smells a human and goes berserk. So now we're left to question, how can the Collins protect Bella from James the Tracker? That's all the plow mentioned, so now it's time for me to say what I liked about Twilight, what I did not like about Twilight, some trivia, and my split ring with my overall opinion. Okay, some of the things I liked about Twilight. Some of the subplots to me were actually alright. I will give them some credit that the evil vampires looked and act like vampires. The mythos they had between the Cullens and Jacobs tribe had some potential had the story focus more on it. And I will say the first 10 minutes of Twilight was actually alright. That is until we are introduced to Edward and that's when things begin to go downhill. Now for some of the things I did not like about Twilight. The main focus of the story, the romance between Edward and Bella, I think is not only badly done, but badly written as well. On top of that, Robert Pattinson and Kristen Stewart have no chemistry to the point of saying I can't tell if they're zombies or extremely constipated. The pacing in this film is just atrocious. It moves so slow that for a two hour movie, to me, it felt like five hours. The special effects and action really are special in that they're laughably bad. The music for this film, while they sound good on their own, felt out of place in some of the scenes they are in. The character development in this film is quite frankly bad. The screenplay for this movie is also pretty bad. And the directing for this film just feels misguided. Now for some trivia. In case you didn't know by now, this movie as well as the rest of the Twilight series are based on the best-selling books by Stephanie Meyer. Believe it or not, Robert Pattinson was not the original choice Stephanie Meyer wanted for the role of Edward. The original choice was going to be Henry Cavill, who will later become Superman in the upcoming Band of Steel film, but by the time production began, he was 25 years old and thus didn't look like a 17-year-old. The director of this film is Catherine Hardwick, who would later on direct the 2011 film Red Riding Hood, which has been met with negative reception. And the script apparently took about six weeks to make, and not only that, but the movie was shot approximately 48 days. And now it is time for me to split my rating. The story, what did I think of the story of Twilight? It certainly had some parts that give it some potential, like the mythos between the Cones and Jacob's tribe, which might have been decent, but since the main focus was on the pretentious romance between Edward and Bella, to me, that really killed the film for me. I give the story of Twilight a 4 out of 10. Acting. The acting in Twilight ranges from bad to mediocre at best. Nobody to me really stands out. I also give the acting of Twilight a 4 out of 10. Music. As I mentioned before, the music sounds good on their own, but it mostly felt inappropriate and out of place. I as well give the music of Twilight a 4 out of 10. For the first time ever, I'm going to look at romance, considering that the main focus of Twilight's story is the romance between Bella and Edward. So, romance. What did I think of the romance in Twilight? Like I said before, it killed the story for me. 
The main characters had no chemistry, and I just did not care what would happen to either Bella or Edward. And in a film where the romance is the main part of the story, and you don't care about anyone, let alone the couple looking like they either can't stand each other or just got out of bed, that can be a real problem. I give the romance of Twilight a 3 out of 10. Action. What did I think of the action in Twilight? It's pretty bad. It's so obvious they're on wires, it's actually kind of funny. Plus, the choreography I felt wasn't very good. I give the action of Twilight a 4 out of 10. Special effects. What did I think of the special effects in Twilight? Well, they really are special, and not in a good way. A lot of it, to me, were actually laughable. I give the special effects of Twilight a 3 out of 10. Directing. What did I think of Katherine Harwink's directing of Twilight? Don't get me wrong, I think she tried, but like I said, it was misguided. The story was not well put together, the music was out of place, and the character development was not good. I give her directing of Twilight a 4 out of 10. Entertainment. Was I entertained by Twilight? My answer is... Not really. The times I was entertained, I don't think they were intending for people to be entertained by. It's just I think a lot of things were, again, not done well in this movie, mainly the writing. On an entertainment scale, I give Twilight a 4 out of 10. Overall, Twilight is a stupid teenage romance film. While some parts show potential, had the story focused more on them, and if done correctly, could have been rather interesting. Sadly though, the main focus of the story, the romance between Bella and Edward, is badly executed, mostly due to, again, the writing. I feel that Twilight is just a forgettable film that has some appeal to it. I give Twilight 1.5 stars out of 4, and a 4 out of 10. So that is my review of Twilight. If you want to express your opinions on this film, feel free to, but please be mature about it. Any bashing and or personal attacks on anyone will be removed the minute I see them, and you will be blocked, which is just the last thing I want to do. So that is my review of Twilight. I hope you have a nice day, but not only that, but see you all next time as I review the Twilight Saga New Moon. Oh god, we have New Moon.